And now at four, a graphic and violent video of the moments before Sacramento deputy shot a suspect who executed a woman right before their very eyes. Now, we want to warn you, this video is disturbing. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Curtis Mack. And I'm Sharon Roger. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is live in Carmichael, where the shooting took place. Ryan. You were saying earlier that, you know, graphic and violence also shocking are the very ways that you could describe this video. We're about to show you in detail the events that led up to Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies shooting and killing the suspect just seconds after he killed his girlfriends. Once again, we want to warn you and some of our viewers might, that they might find this disturbing. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office is releasing this ring doorbell camera video showing Ernest Easterling in nothing short of a violent altercation with his girlfriend, Chanel Brown, at a Carmichael apartment complex. Both fearful and malicious screaming can be heard in the video as the victim tells others to stay safe. Watch your door. Watch the camera catches deputies arriving at the Carmichael apartment. Shortly after, you hear deputies telling Brown to get out of the way. And then... You see how quickly he moves from the doorway um, and is and is really within inches of the female in a matter of, it's almost like you blink and you see it, right? The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says that deputies reacted as fast as they could in a situation that happened in a matter of seconds. I think that it's natural, um, you know, human nature to wonder if and play back in your mind and, and if I could have seen things faster or differently, but the reality is it happened exactly how it happened right in front of them in a matter of a half a second or less. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says that the investigation into this shooting is still ongoing. Coming up, we'll hear from former Sacramento County Sheriff John McGinnis about what kind of emotional toll this has on the deputies. Yeah, really disturbing video. Gosh, Ryan, thank you. And the family of the victim, Chanel Brown, is holding a news conference right now. CBS 13 Steve Large is live with the family's message about domestic violence. Steve? It is an emotional press conference here. Family tearing up uh, and uh, very emotional as they try to bring awareness to domestic violence here today. We're live at Liberty Towers Church, and you can see the family of Chanel Brown speaking just behind me here. They just began speaking and saying that this is an opportunity, as much as it is a loss, to speak out and bring awareness to the risks of domestic violence. My sister Chanel was a beautiful young lady who had her whole life in front of her. She was only 23. She had a beautiful spirit, always trying to help someone, and this is no different. She was everyone's biggest supporter, and she didn't give up on anyone, even when you couldn't understand why. She represented all that our parents have instilled into us. Chanel loved genuinely and hard. She loved so hard that she literally died for it. So that was uh, Chanel Brown's sister speaking about her lost loved one here, describing her as strong, loving, and saying also, in addition to those comments, that she missed some of the signs uh, that there was something wrong in her relationship. Uh, her sister Chanel Brown had become more distant recently. She had moved away, in fact. Also a brother speaking and saying that uh, the way that they plan to honor her life and her memory is to now speak out forever against domestic violence. So senseless. Okay, yeah. Steve, thank you.